Hi guys, it's Mick and Andrew from Tots Coaching. Over the next four to five weeks, we're going to put some short videos together, probably one a week, so that the children can do some kind of activity at home, either with their sibling or with their parent. Our first skill on session four shows me and Anthony doing some passes. If you focus on me in the striped top, it shows me using my laces. It shows me standing on one leg, kicking the ball with the laces and following through by pointing my toes. If you can get the kids to do that, that'd be brilliant. Notice I will stop it of the foot at an angle so the ball cannot go under my foot. The second video clip shows Anthony using a different part of his body to pass the ball with. He's actually using his instep. This is a little bit more difficult skill than using using their laces. So if, the, if your child can't do this at the moment, don't worry, just focus on them using their laces. Here you have me and Anthony scoring a goal through the two toys then actually trying to hit a third toy that is on the floor. Just make sure when you do this, when the child actually kicks the ball, whether they use their instep or the laces, that the ball is to the side of the toy. Ah. Here we have me and Anthony playing a game of Spider-Man T. It looks as though I'm Spider-Man because I've got the bib. If you haven't got a bib, don't worry about it. Use an old tea towel, maybe use a duster, something like that. Start off with the adult being Spider-Man, and you've got to chase your child around uh, the area that you've got. The child's holding the ball in two hands. When you hit him with your uh, web, you've got to put the ball down on the floor and do toe taps, like in the first part of the video. Later on in the video, it shows Anthony doing window wipers. You can, if you want, swap the roles. All right, so you're carrying the ball and your child is Spider-Man, which is great fun. If the adult is going to hold the ball, can you just make sure that you're conscious of changing direction? So then the child is actually changing direction by following you without realising it. Enjoy, guys. Here we have Spencer, one of our young coaches, dribbling in and out of the cones and doing it really well. When you try this skill with your child, probably have the cones a little bit further apart than Spencer's got them in this video clip. If they can do that successfully, then bring the cones close together. Our last skill of week four shows Anthony scoring some goals using his instep. If your child's not ready for that, get them to use their laces, as previously shown in this video clip. To make it a little bit more fun and a little bit more competitive, there's nothing to stop you going in the goals and acting as a goalie. Once you've done that for three or four times, swap it over and let your child have a go at being the goalie. Hope you enjoy this, guys, and we're looking forward to week five.